Hello to your viewers. Welcome back to more Madness Project Nexus. Melee only challenge. This will be the second part of the melee only challenge, which, uh, again, I think is going to be easy. Because we've already gotten past the hardest part, which is the start. Now, we just gotta chop some people up because I'm a lunatic. Okay. I'm not crazy, right? There isn't... There are eyes on my character. It looks like there are eyes on this on this mask. Yep, yep. It's because there's a some kind of particle effect, or I was gonna say masking effect. It's the outline effect on the on the eye of the mask when it zooms out like this. You can kind of see the outline turns into what looks like an eye. Uh, the right eye there is messed up a bit. That's besides the point. Welcome back. Last time, we completed a few missions, and we gotta go say hi to Doc. I guess. Did I do that? Eh. Uh. Yeah. I'm over here now. I just belly flop off the top floor. So, we're gonna go hack up some people, I think. I mean, I know we're gonna hack up some people, but let's figure out where we gotta go. We're gonna go here. I can teleport. <laughs> so, with, uh, it being January 5th, that'll tell you when I'm recording this, and gone make that man vanish. With it being January 5th, Monster Hunter Rise. Monster Hunter Rise, is that what it is? Releases on PC next week. So, would anyone be interested in, in Monster Hunter Rise? Stop shooting me. Did I just do two finishers on that man? Because I played a lot of Monster Hunter World. I forget everything, but I remember that it had some... Oh my god. Alright, get wrecked, I guess. You chumps are nothing now. I'm a lunatic with a sword. Wasn't I always? No, I was a mercenary with a sword sometime. But in Monster Hunter World, I specifically remember that I did all of those, like, story quests or whatever. Because, well, I mean, the story only took you up to, like, Hunter rank, like, what, 15 or something? And then you just had to do, like, these tacked on story missions where it's like, ah, oh, get to, like, mo a Monster Hunter rank, like, 30, and then 49, and then... Like 70, and then like a hundred or something. I don't remember. Like the specifics of it, at least. I, I know that you had to eventually, like, do these... They were on, like, the request board or something, where you had to go hunt, uh... Like, tempered versions of the monsters, and then you had to fight the, like, arch-tempered, and then... There were temp- there was tempered, and then there was arch tempered Ouch. Now your friend over there has it too. No. Nope. That's for setting me on fire. That was really rude. This man over here, look at him. Just leaning up against the side. It's cinematic. You just stand on top of the shelf. Or I'm not on the shelf anymore, alright. Surprise. That's not really... It, it so much looks like a glitch. Like, it's just the purple particle effects from the gnomes that make it work well. Surprise. It's hard to do that. Uh, I'll take this broom. I'll be like freaking Link. Am I? What? 
Was I just holding it like a gun? Why was I holding the broom like a gun? I want to do that again. Oh well. With uh, Monster Hunter World, though, you had to go like arc tempered. Uh... The final like fight was arc tempered Nergigante? And then they released an arc tempered Xena Jiva, which is weird that Nergigante was the like final, like as in the credits rolled when you beat that quest for some reason. And then uh, Xena Jiva is just like, yeah, you know. It's a thing you, you fight. But Monster Hunter Rise, sh should I, uh... Room! Get cleaned! I need to just kill him with the broom. I killed that man with a broom. I'm cleaning the streets. Oops. Shanking people with a oh, it turns into a stake. Uh, I can't really use that, so we're going back to the longsword. <gasps> Never mind. Hello. Monster Hunter Rise. I want to play it. I know one of my other friends also wants to play it too. So eh, I don't know what I do with uh, in terms of content on my channel. I have no idea what this channel is going to be. This whole Madness series is an experiment, as I've mentioned previously. The fact that anyone wants to watch me is, like, just bizarre to me. With all this, like, stuttering and crap I do. Hey, boys. Oh, hold on. Slowly turning. Wham! My character's gonna continue walking back to the center of the room. However, I'm not going to let that stop me because I teleport. All right, now... Okay, I have control again. Stop blocking my attacks. It makes it harder for me to kill you. Chop. You know what? I'm taking your spatulas. I don't even have the dual-wielding skill. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna flip up some, like... Cardboard burgers, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arena victory. That was easy. Now I do not know how much time I have because one of my friends said they want to do something, but oh yeah! Did you know that I stream? For ice cream? No, I don't stream for ice I wish I could... S if I were popular enough, I could say that, but I don't stream for anything besides the fact that I can. You know, that, that's about it. It's real easy. I have literally no viewers. Uh, I, I did play Grim Dawn the other day with my friend, and there were moments where I had, like... Oh, fast track, great. I don't like fast track. There were moments where we had, like, two people watching. Granted, on Twitch, though, the one person is you. Oh, oh we need 8,000. Screw that noise. We're gonna get more tactics. Yeah, look at that. Almost all the melee stuff. Oh, uh, poor acrobatics. I have no means of leveling it. I... I guess I could, uh, hire some help. Hi. Uh, great. They won't be here until... next... What? I don't know how time progresses in terms of, uh, me going on a mission. We gotta complete some waves real quick. Mask man, away! But back to what I was saying about Twitch with the uh, two viewers. One of them is always you when you have your stream manager up where you can, like, clear chat and, you know, all that stuff. 
for some reason. I don't know why it counts you. The one who, you know, it's your stream. You should always be in chat, so... I find that very weird. But oh well, I guess. I don't know how you would, like, be streaming and not be in your own chat. Guys, come on. We need to do some fighting. This time, however, I have a sword. That means I can block your attacks. And you can block mine, too. Chop. Ooh. Uh, there was there was a moment where my friend <laughs> my friend got this item that oh my head it like buffed him it was like a one time buff item or whatever and he had it and he's like Cor Corolla oil or something like that and I said camel oil and we had just gotten like another <laughs> another viewer and I started talking about camel oil how do you get camel oil <laughs> He, he he tells me about how how you get camel oil. Uh, you gotta you know chop the hump off and let it regrow, and that's how you get camel oil. Well, we were down, we were back down to no other viewers after that. Uh, I like to imagine at least one person in this world is now traumatized by that story. Now all of you are too. <gasps> a new long sword. Also a seizure. Again, I wish there was at least enough time for me to land one hit with the freaking parry. The melee parry. Can I get Aw, oh, I was trying to get the AT back if you guy. Cause if I hit do that. Where it's like perfect. See, there's not enough time. Yeah. No, I can't attack you without it. There's not usually enough time for you to. I mean, if the enemy is not like smart enough, they won't block or anything. But enemies can just block or go into another attack right afterwards. So you end up having like this, I guess it's a, what? Get out of here. You ha end up having this chain where you block an enemy's attack, and then you go to like hit them, but then they block and then, ouch, my head. They block, then you attack, they block again, you know, just back and forth of, like, not hitting each other, and it's just a stalemate, really, because you can get another block or attack out right after being parried before your opponent can hit you. I don't know why that man was, like, surprised that I killed his friend. Just stand there and take it, I guess. Chop. Like from Grand Theft Auto. I've never actually played Grand Theft Auto. Okay, I own the, the fourth game on Xbox 360, and I only ever played the like free multiplayer lobby thing, like the free roam or whatever, where you just mess around. So that's just what my friends did. That's that's all we would do. How do you block a sword with a saw like that? No. I need to deal with you right now. Why don't you disarm me with a... Well, blowtorch should actually be effective there, because what would end up happening is he'd be heating up the sword while I'm holding it. I can't... I'm stuck. I actually can't get out of this. I'm stuck here. There we go. That was close. I mean, I still have to chew through 20 more people. And I said melee would be easier. I mean, it kind of is. You end up with melee anyway. It, oh 
Oh my god, he picked up that dude's gun. Out of ammo. What was I saying before I got brutally pinned in a corner and murdered? I mean, I stream. No, you just... Oh, you ragged up me in the corner. You got... Oh, you got a finisher on me. I didn't even get to see it. Whoa. Guys, listen. Listen. Oh, there's, there's a, um... Whatchamacallum in here. The... Again, with the disarmed. When I get my sword back... They're just all blocking my attacks. There it is! Arena I did get locked in a corner and mauled to death, though, with no chance of escape. Ah, uh, yes. My least favorite mission. A shock baton, which is weird because you'd think with a baton that shocks people, you'd want to keep the uh, end there on the opponent as long as possible. But you just kind of slap them with it. How are you supposed to, like, shock them to death if, you know, end isn't one there? Oh, well, let's, let's see if I have any points to buy anything. Nope, I can't even get stronger. Fine, I'll play hard track on norm. Fast track. Hard fast track. Ready for flying? I'll play it on normal because it's like my least favorite mission. Completely lost my. Oh, wait, wait. We could have hired some people, I think. I lost my train of thought, ironically. Who interrupted my thoughts? All of you did. There's a blue guy up there. Where are you going? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I, uh, teleporting to enemies doesn't seem very useful. Like, they still walk backwards. He's gonna round this corner and not even know. I... I guess he, he was protected. Him not knowing about that attack prevented him from being hurt by it in the first place. I guess that's an effective dodging strategy. I had to resist the urge to throw the sword so hard. We don't even have the capacity to dual wield yet. Maybe, maybe that's what I should get next. I do find it funny that th this can cause heads to explode. You guys are screwed once I learn how to deflect bullets. There it is, there's the head explosion. Wow, I caught that dude with the very end of this. Yeah, you know, being able to teleport over there would have been nice. These guys are being so polite on normal. Look at them all, they're not even bothering to shoot me. Oh, there's a power up I can use. That would have been nice.
I'll never get to use improvised uh, weapons with everything. I got a hammer now. This train is now mine, and I'm gonna build you guys a coffin. Just kidding, there's a machete! I deal extra slicing damage, chop. I mean, he tried. Yeah, look! Like, this isn't how you use a rapier, but... What? I'm just hitting the floor, I guess. Okay. Whatever. And now, all the enemies are on the other side of the train! Wow! That's nice! I don't walk into a wall of freaking bullets. I mean, I still have a guy with a blowtorch. I just got shot with a crossbow. Like, how effective are crossbows in this universe? Like, really, you have people with sniper rifles and, like, shotguns and all that, and these guys, like, there's crossbows? Like, really? Really? Like, the whole reason people be using, like, pipes and stuff is because they're in the middle of, like, using them or whatever. But a crossbow, really, it's, like, a ranged weapon that has the, like, highest chance to miss. Unless you, the, your opponent doesn't know you're there. In which case, a gun would probably help you more. Because, hello, you have more than one shot? Sure, your, your opponents are gonna know you're there after you take out one dude. But if you're in a situation where you gotta take out one dude, and only one dude, then you'd probably just use, like, a silenced sniper rifle from far away. Then there's no chance of being discovered. Well, I mean, you're gonna be partially discovered, at least, but you won't have, uh, you know, to escape from the enemy facility. It's just walk away, because no one can, you know, see you. I don't know, I just, just, like, these crossbows don't have anything special, they aren't, like, flaming bolts, they aren't, like, explosive. Yeah, I don't even think they, I don't know if they pierce or not. I still got my starter sword, boys. It's a lot nicer when I don't have to carve through all of you. I got the dual wield skill. Dual wield, like, daggers or something. I don't know. What melee weapon could I dual wield? I mean, I guess I could... No, I I don't know if I have enough strength to dual wield them. Okay, I think this about looks good. We have Showman here. He's the thug. He'll beat people up and then go home and read his book. And then we have Vinny. With his signature question mark hat without a question mark. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's get a uh, move on. Alright, I do not expect you guys to live. <laughs> but hey, maybe, just maybe, they can help me get some acrobatic experience. Because I have 134 of it. Are you guys sticking in formation with me? That's fine. Oh, they see us. Oh god, is he, is he, can he not attack? All right, Vinny, new plan. Here, but Oh, there it goes. Uh, guess he didn't want to be part of this. All right, pick up the short sword. No, pick up the short sword. Pick up the short sword. Now both of you go here. Okay, I have a faster attack. Wow, dude. You could try hitting them. Showman, get down here. Get. 
freaking kill you, I guess. Showman, what are you doing? Uh, uh how did that happen? All right. See, there you go, buddy. Uh, they're not gonna come down. All right, I'll go get them. Hey, look, I'm a call for backup. Here we go. Is anyone even gonna show up? Yeah? Yeah, a single dude <laughs> with a baton. Oh, there he goes. You guys can uh, kill this man. I, I guess I killed him. Did that guy die? My follower, my little friend man died though, that's for sure. <laughs> His little heart's not there anymore. Nice sword. Yeah, there we go. Guys, hit him. The whole reason I let you here is so you can kill people. If you aren't killing people and are just letting them hit you, why even bother? Both of you are going to die anyway. My crew usually dies and fast track. I don't know why. Infinite ammo. Oh boy. Scimitar and uh I wish you two would level up between waves. You're not helping me get acrobatics at all. Man, that that'd just suck being impaled with a blunt weapon. I want you guys to sit over there. You, again, you guys aren't doing that. <laughs> Maybe the hireling should have a bit faster reaction time. I'm trying to think of how you could make hirelings, like, better through your own character, because in a classic, you had the whole leadership skill. Which would give you not only, like, being able to have more guys with you, but they would also, as another, oh, whatchamacallum, agent. Vinny, please. The leadership would give your allies faster reaction time, as well as making the enemies react slower due to fear. Which, I guess, doesn't help all that much in, you know, this, because they're always attacking you. Vinny's gonna die. Ooh, he got some. And he gets shot in the back of the head. These guys are, like, level two. At least Showman knows what to do. He actually stayed where I told him to. Look. I told you to stay here, and you lived. And what happened to Vinny? He didn't listen. He tried to go off on his own and be a hero. And he died. Great, now we gotta replace him with Joel. Only. Melee experience. Try punching them faster. Is that a power attack, my guy? That was a karate chop. See, I don't know how... Like, that is supposed to do a lot of electricity. Yeah, the whole point of electric... 
like these shock batons would be to deal electricity so you want to like jam it on to them keep the like shocky bit on your opponent as long as possible so it can electrocute them even more like sure you can strike them real hard with it but don't pull it away from them right Ah, uh, ha, ha. Nice heavy weapon. If only they weren't stupidly slow. I mean, it is great getting the lawnmower skill and being able to <laughs> throw one across the room. I'm about to lose some health. I think I dodged my way to keeping it. Oh, there go my friends. There go my... Oh no, wait, wrong shock baton. One of my shock batons, anyway. However, I have triple damage. Guess what that means? You're gonna block all of my attacks, because it doesn't matter. I don't feel comfortable with you having a gun behind me. Yeah, that'll earn you. Meat cleaver. Ah, gotta get some mustard here. I knew that neither of those guys would survive. A short sword and a wide sword. Which is, it's still technically a short sword, it's just wider. Well, I got no acrobatics experience. I will never be able to dodge. Where are you going? You're gonna call for backup, huh? I've been waiting for you. No, you haven't. That's why you were on patrol. If you were waiting for me, you would have known I was coming. You would have been standing by the door. Oh, big hammer. Give me hammer. Give me hammer. Yes. Oh my god. It's time to wreck house and everything else. Look at this. Ooh, there he goes. I think you stood a better chance with your fists, my guy. Well, he's keeping me occupied. Well, it's, it, it's only a matter of time till he, you know, stops holding the block button. Hello. Just gonna hit you with a hammer real quick. Yeah. No, get back out there. What did I just say? Get back out there. I'm trying to keep you guys inside the train at all times. You want to climb outside like unruly children. So I'm sending you back out there because you someone needs to learn a lesson. And it's not going to be me. I th think that man was about to do the mash attack thing, but uh, <laughs> I hit him. Hey, there's some sunglasses over here. Anybody lose a pair? I can't wear them. I'm just going <laughs> to... Hit him like he's a zombie in Dead Rising. There you go. I was like, can he not see me? There's a man over here. What are you doing? Trying to leave? Don't abandon your team. Now you can abandon your team from this mortal coil. Though I guess knowing the Madness Realm, he's not even done serving his, like, guys in charge, I guess. He's going to, like, some kind of afterlife area where he then has to fight everyone again. Oh, that was close. Now get down here. Get down here. Get down here. 
and let me end your life. I'm fine, I'm gonna fight, fight your friend. All right, I'm coming up there. The music, okay, no, there it is. I told you I was coming up here. What did you learn, Billy? What did you learn? You learned nothing. Because your he your memories are now all over the floor. That'll learn him. It'll learn him nothing. Let's go to the infirmary. Only showman leveled up. Only showman leveled up. I... Medical's here. I'm losing track. Oh no. They're like level four and five. <laughs> He's got like some skill. I can't help him though. I mean, the only thing that I have going that I could do, I guess, to make him level up would be going to like foundry or pit stop. All right, I gotta equip him with something smaller. Oy, oy. Nah, let's give him a shock baton. All right, Vinny, here's a shock baton. Have fun. Off for a little stroll in the sky. I hope you boys are ready. Huh. Can I get anything? No. No, I can't. I need 8,000 points to get into the next level of melee, or I need 1,200 points to get the next level of dodge. Which was a damn miracle when I got it the other time. With unarmed only. Yeah, if you stand over here, sound effects are over on the right. Or, sound effects over here are on the left. Everything else is, like, grounded in the middle. Showman, please. Oh, oh. I'm gonna get knocked off the side. Get him, buddy. Yeah! I want you guys to stand in the corner there. Ambush them as they come through the door. Oh god, my side. Yeah. No, don't run. There's just mic pieces right here. Okay, I guess no one is coming to be friends with us. Let's go inside. Look, see? Now that we're inside, they want to come be friends with us. Okay, here's a question. How did the madness world progress through, I guess, technology or whatever? Because, you know, they have, like, guns and stuff, but everything seems to just be in chaos. So, how would they have, you know, like, researched that stuff if they were busy killing each other with, like, swords and crap? That man... Billy? <laughs> I'm trying to remember the name of them. The Soldat. There it is. The Soldat. There we are. Because the dudes with the mask are the engineers. But with the goggles only are the Soldats. You run at me with your fist, go, Oh, you stab me! And then pick up the screwdriver. Weirdo. Get him, Vinny. Look, there he goes. Let's see if he leveled up. I don't think he can level up during... missions, so it's kind of like me.
Really wish I could choose what skills they got, but hey, you know, it's their life, I guess. No. Finish him. Ooh! That man having a stroke on the floor. Oh, God! Oh, Vinny's about to die. You're gonna die instead. Vinny, go, buddy. I know you're not used to this because you're used to corruption, but let's go. <gasps> Acrobatics! That's because I was sprinting around, wasn't it? Oh, you guys go over here. Oh, the box is in the way. I'm just gonna shank people. Box keeps getting in my way. Chop. Whoa, that was a big teleport. You, though, are a problem. Because you know how to shoot me. You know, one of these days I'm gonna play the tutorial. I mean, not today. Oh, he disarms both of my weapons. That's a gun. What if I do that? Why, where am I remembering it only disarming one weapon? What am I thinking of? Why, why do I have memories of it going, only affecting something? Maybe it's not what I'm- the thing that just happened, you know, the- I guess, the parry thing? I don't know what you would call that. No, that's not- that's not a parry- whatever it is where you gotta mash attack. I have, like, some kind of memory of the- it not affecting both weapons? I don't- where am I getting that from? Oh god! He's here! Mr. Fister is here! Oh, he's here to make everyone suffer. Oh god! He just hit his friend. Guys, get out of there. Oh, he's using the shotgun. Guys, get out of here. I'll deal with him. Oh, oh, maybe he's gonna deal with me instead. Ow. Oh. No, he's gonna grab me, guys. Oh. Showman, go deal with the other guy. Oh, uh, another, another, another sword. Where's the? I guess. God, my skull. Please don't grab me. He tried. This man instills fear upon everyone. My health is very low. Guys. Oh! Not the face. He's on the ground. Get him. Get him while he's down. Oh, God. There goes Showman. No, oh, way to go, Vinny. Take another shock baton. There's a spec light over here with my name on it. I don't know what a spec light is, but it looks like part can opener or part scrap metal. If only you guys healed. Or I could heal you somehow. But I'm so sorry, you guys probably aren't going to survive the night. Chop. Oh, way to go, Vinny! Oh, uh, you have- All of you guys are wielding shotguns. Shotguns. 
guys go over there. Never mind. <laughs> there they go. It just one of these guys blocking me opens me up to the other guys. Oh, get him, Vinny. Never mind. There's a soul dat. Get yourself a new weapon. I have invulnerability and speed. Where did I get the speed power up? I'm trying to keep you alive, buddy. Maybe we'll find some food for you. Nope. Oh well, at least I can keep this momentum going with while I'm dual building. That man's having a like a heart attack in the corner there after watching me break a sword over his friend's head. Thank you for standing still and letting me pick up an axe. Alright, I'm picking up the sledgehammer then. I can one-hand this boy. That's it. Some skulls are going to be turned into some freaking gravel in a moment. That's a bit gruesome to think about. Hitting someone's skull so hard it turns it into pretty much pieces of gravel. I thought that guy was going to get a cheeky shot off on me. It's time to build people some pain. Nah, I attack too slow. Okay. What am I thinking of? I'm thinking of, a, like, a game mechanic where you have two weapons, and if you drop them, you... Dual wielding in Halo. Dual wielding in Halo 2. If you have two energy weapons and you drop one, like, let's say the one in your right hand... No, no, that's the one you have normally. The one that you are dual wielding with that you would drop if you, say, hit the melee or grenade button is your left hand. So, it... There's a mechanic in that game where if you're dual wielding, like an energy weapon, you know, like I was just saying, you... and you drop the one that has more... the... Uh, like, energy left, the game will keep that one and drop the one with the lower energy instead. Because why would you not want that? I mean, it's not like the plasma rifles really helped all that much when dual wielding. When, uh, okay, I play a Legendary in Halo 2. I'm a lunatic, and I I grew up playing Halo 2 on Legendary to the point where, like, I, I just kind of walk through it. My friends are like, how? And I'm like, I don't know. Please don't shoot me with that shotgun, thanks. I mean, I'm a lunatic who specializes in stabbing people, but I don't have a katana yet. I will teleport across the map to get to you, though. We need a big sword. Oh, you're dead. It's like, well, I mean, not this character. I don't, I'm uh, some kind of cultist freak, but I'm not dead. Whoops, not the man I meant to hit. Ooh, I want that sword. Give me. Give me. Yeah, there we go. I got a big sword. I'm a big shot now. Shoot me again, I dare you. Oh, he's got a hail bird. I feel so sorry for him. He'll never be able to hit me. His friends, on the other hand, are fast enough to be able to hit me. See? Like, I wish the heavy, like, the huge melee weapons, like the hail bird here, would swing faster based on your strength after you get the, whatchamacallit, skill. 
That skill that makes it so you can dual wield weapons Whoa. based on your stats rather than what size they are. Like, that's, that's the only... You can hear the chopper dropping off the big man. That's the only thing that I really wish they'd change about the large weapons. So when you're playing, like, the massive, you can freaking swing the, like, hailbird and stuff around, like, the one-handed swords! That'd be so much fun! Ah, my skull! No! No! Ah! No! Stop it. No. Please. No, I don't want to play with your big brother. No. I'm going upstairs. I told you I'm going upstairs. I think he's staying down there. Hey, buddy. Oh. I don't know how that didn't hit me. Hey, buddy, listen. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to do this whole thing. Grab weapon. There we go. Alright. No, I don't want to teleport to him. Ooh! Ooh. Swipe! Stay back! Stay away from me! Monster! I mean, he is kind of a monster, but I think that's the whole intention of him being created. Oh. Oh. Stay back. Stay back. I'm warning you. Oh. Ah. Not the face. Not the face. Please, I'm sorry. Ah. No, I'm over here. Bang. In the skull. Okay, game. Fine. Hey, buddy, listen. You need to, like, go to sleep forever. Arena victory. You see, that's the problem with the Hellbird. It's always this slow, no matter how big you get. No matter how strong you are, you can't... Again, like, half the problem with these with the big weapon is so slow. And anyone can interrupt you. All that needs to happen is wham, and you're interrupted. Maybe if you're big enough, you're playing the massive, you might be able to get through it. <gasps> Look at them! My friends leveled up. Hmm. But with that, with hard, hard, fast track, I want to call it hard track because I have more trouble with hard, with fast track than I do hard sell. What? Cover these boys. And I guess that's going to be it for this session. Because we've completed Fast Track and the story mission. Probably would have done it a little quicker if I didn't freaking die. Double check. Yeah, Fast Track is completed. Thank God for that. Let's check our friends. <gasps> Melee Technique 2. Unarm Technique 2. <gasps> you guys. You're putting points into what you're good at. You have three health now. I'm so proud. You could be shot three times before melting. Let's buy some skills. Morale's okay. Well, considering you got your head blown off, uh, yeah, maybe. I'm gonna have to save up for that. I I gotta say, I have to save up for everything. Right. I mean, I guess on the plus side, uh. I could hire more guys. <laughs> I don't I don't know how that's on the plus side, but uh, that's a problem for another time. I'm going to end the the episode here episode uh, 33, I think. I don't actually know cuz I have any Yeah, this is 33. So, thanks a lot for watching, seriously. Uh, remember to like the video, comment the video, and subscribe the video to see more videos like this one. Does anyone even know where I got that from? I don't think you do. You might not have been around on YouTube. It's old critical. A 2013. But thanks a lot for watching. I hope you have a good rest of your day, and take care. 
I'll catch you next time.